All right, last example. Um, so in this example, ladies and gentlemen, what I'm going to do is we need to find the volume. So the formula for the volume that we're going to do is equal to 4 thirds pi times r cubed. Whoa. Now remember, that is for the volume of a sphere. And what we notice is we have a hemisphere, which is half of a sphere. So a taco. So a taco, kind of. So in this example, I don't know if that makes sense at all, but yeah, kind of. I would try to think of that as more maybe of like a bowl, kind of flipped upside down and finding the space inside of that, like if you thought of that. Yeah, like I'll a globe. A taco. Okay. Um, a taco bowl. Now, but remember it's a rounded shape though, right? Yeah, it's a round taco. Okay. So in this case, ladies and gentlemen, if I use this formula, I'm gonna find the volume of the whole sphere, which would be like a ball. I only need to find the volume of my hemisphere. So therefore, I'm going to take this formula and divide it by 2. All right. Now, they provided us with the radius. And that's the only thing we really need to know besides knowing the formula. So Dominic, all I simply do is take 4 thirds times pi times 3 cubed, and then divide that by 27. So now, I'm just going to take my calculadora and plug all this information in. I'll take 4 divided by 3 times pi times 3 cubed. 3 times 3 times 3 is 27. And then I divide that by 2. And the volume of this is 56.5. I have no idea. It's 2. I think I was doing 3 cubed. So therefore, my volume equals 56.5. Now, we've been talking about this in yards, Malik. And it's very important when we're talking about units with volume, remember the units is going to be cubed. And that's it. Okay.